Some of anyway, well, we'll, we'll put together for the next episode. <laughs> this is gonna we'll be have a spelling bee for Eldridge. If uh, if your daughter can make it, that'd be great. If not, yeah, we'll yeah, find... she's on summer break. Yeah. Oh, there you go. But Paul, you know, just uh, well, we're going to get into the news in a second. But uh, we we um, you're sitting here. Uh, nobody can see, but your your leg is propped up on a couple wooden blocks that Roger has over yeah. here. You uh, you hurt your knee. I hurt my knee. What uh, what happened, bro? Well, luckily I was skateboarding when it happened. <laughs> That's because I would have I would have fucking been so bummed if I hurt myself doing some uh, other type yeah, of right? thing. I'm always That's, people yeah. people oh have you snowboarded and yeah. stuff and I'm like no I don't want to and I'm, they're like why I'm like I just if, if I get hurt snowboard I just feel like an you'll idiot. Be so yeah. bummed like, yeah 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 I, and I know tons of friends who've gotten hurt sure. snowboarding because you get overconfident like I skate. Oh, yeah. oh, I watched a shot I think like break his arm. Yeah. 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 And Daryl like just, at the same the same day they, they broke their arm the exact same injury him and Daryl Angel no way rode in the same ambulance to the same hospital <laughs> oh, shit. for the same injury within what? 15 minutes no of each other. Wow. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. Insane. So you were You're skating. Right. I was skating. Uh, I was. Uh, I was trying to half cab flip down a nine stair. Okay. And uh, I. I. I air balled. Mm hmm. I, I popped late, and mm. my board just kind of like. Ah. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I remember, like, for you know, it's all split second. Sure. But I remember feeling like I was coming to fall down on top of my board, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to do that. So, like, my instinct was to like try and maneuver to the side of it. And my right leg, from what I can remember, landed first. But the momentum, my upper body, my 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 upper body went that way, and yeah. my right leg was planted, and oh. it couldn't come oh. with me because, like, I, it planted and I bent, mm. but. The momentum I bent and was going forward, so I couldn't like get it to come with me. Yeah. And I just felt it go oh, right gosh. just out in and just ah oh, like immediately just God. ah <laughs> I, I probably made the weirdest noise that one can make, you know, just you'd never know what kind of noises wow. you can make. I know. Seriously. <laughs> was, was this being documented when it happened? Were yeah, you I got, actually got the clip. I can't bring myself to watch oh it. Oh, my okay. God. But, uh, <clears throat> but deleted that thing. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, it, it was it was documented. I immediately felt it pop out, and I felt my leg muscles fight it back into place. Oh. Luckily, it just went right back wow. into place, and I'm just laying there, and it was the weirdest thing, like how the, the craziest thought – I mean, obviously, yeah. it didn't tickle. But <laughs> what, does that, what does that mean? It didn't no, tickle. Well, because, <laughs> so well, no. because I didn't finish my, my thought. It, did, okay. it, it didn't tickle, but it wasn't the physical pain that was the problem. Uh -huh. Like it wasn't. The, I've taken harder slams that weren't super injuries sure. that hurt a lot and bodied me harder. Mm -hmm. But it was just like it was the immediately fear, mm -hmm. immediate like oh my god. That's it. I'm done. You're done. I'm, it's yeah. over. It's gone. It's all gone. Oh my god! Surgery. All I'm thinking is I'm seeing needles and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, all the weirdest mm. thing. And right. then and then somewhere in there, I swear to God, somewhere in there was like, I'm hungry. What am I <laughs> <No>. doing? <laughs> what? Like it was the weirdest. <laughs> yeah, right. I remember having that and then realizing, why did I just think about how weird, I, how hungry I am? Yeah. I'm fucking. This hurts. Like I, I'm having the worst injury of my life. And and all of a sudden, like. Can go for some Thai food. Yeah, what am, I, what am I gonna order when I get home and I'm laying in bed? Like it was just like some. Yeah, That's it, funny. It was. It, it was. You know. But um. So yeah, that it just hurt, like the 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 fear of not knowing what it was. Uh, this is on Sunday. This uh -huh. is on a Sunday. Okay. So immediately I'm laying there. I call immediately. I call my uh, uh my chiropractor, Doctor Eddie. Okay. I, I'm, I'm in his office multiple times a week. Anyway, just mm -hmm. to try and keep up my maintenance of course i immediately call him and the first thing he says like hey dude i don't know if i like getting a call from you on a sunday Ooh, the first thing man. he said to me and i was like yeah dude i i popped my knee out it went back in but i don't know what happened he's like can you send me the footage i sent him the footage he's like all right dude um it's hard to tell because my pants are kind of baggy yeah, so you can't really right. see it. Mm -hmm. but um monday morning first thing i had an mri tuesday morning first thing went and saw the orthopedic mm -hmm. surgeon and fucking uh, uh when i got the mri i took it into dr eddie i went in uh, and saw him right after i got the M mri mm -hmm. and the way they have it these days is like the mri plays like they just email, email it to the it. surgeon yeah. and email it to eddie and then 
I was like, I was just trying to keep my mind busy, not thinking about it too much, because I was starting to feel overnight like, oh, it doesn't feel too bad. It feels like the same thing as an ankle sprain, like okay. the swelling. Like, if it, maybe maybe I didn't actually tear uh, anything. Because maybe you never I'm even okay. had a knee. Never had any before, type right. of anything. Mm -hmm. And so I was just thinking, laying there, like, okay, well, just try and be positive. Mm -hmm. Like, it's in God's hands. Like, whatever, what's done is done. Sure. Um, I'm just going to go in and see what is up. So I, w I went into bdx is the place what it's called body dynamics mm -hmm. um and i just was like look i know i'm injured but uh, just like i want to work out or do something so i was doing like an upper body workout and just keep my mind busy mm -hmm. and then while i'm working out i saw him he was in the office through the glass window i could see he was looking at the mri and he was on the phone because the surgeon called to explain what it was right and, he walked out while I was in the middle of the workout and then he walked out and I can tell in his face, I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> and he went yeah. back in the room and then like I finished out my little workout circuit and then he comes back like, hey, let's go back here. I'm like, all right. And then he start, he'd tell me what it was. He was like, so uh, you tore your ACL, you tore your meniscus Oof. and you tore your MCL. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. And it was the weirdest feeling. I never felt this in my life. It it hadn't even sank in mentally to me what he would had said. Right. But all of a sudden I started sweating. Yeah. And I got so hot and I thought I felt like I was gonna throw up. And I'm look looking around. I'm like, oh my god, where's the, I need a trash can or something. Oh wow. And I, I almost I've the closest I've ever been to passing. I don't never had a pass out feeling before. I was almost gonna pass out and I thought I was gonna throw up and I just didn't know what to do. And he told me all that. I was just like like kind of like when you know the adults talking to charlie brown commercials oh, wah, 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 wah. like you can't concentrate yeah. and you're like what what are you saying like what is this isn't like and then like yeah so it didn't settle in for a full full 24 48 hours because the next day i saw the surgeon he told me the deal okay and he was more straightforward yeah. dr eddie like he's my friend also sure. i know him a long time so he was like gentle with me like so mm -hmm. you know it's unfortunately this is what it is blah, blah. Right. but the doctor was just like all right so here's what you have blah 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 blah, blah and it's gonna take this long to heal and then okay. we're gonna get surgery and this is what i want you to do and it was just like fuck it was it was uh something i never i thought hope I thought at this point in my mm -hmm. career, like I had avoided, if I were ever going to have that, I I, th I thought I had missed my window right, for yeah, that type right. of thing to happen. Because it's not like I was like going for broke or doing anything crazy. It was just- Nine stairs. Like, I, you know, it, obviously anything can happen at any sure. time. But it was like, not like I was like hucking crazy that day or whatever. It was just a, you know, standard set of right. normal stairs. Well, going down Rincon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Long story short is, yeah, I tore my ACL, meniscus, okay. and uh, most of my MCL, and I have an appointment. Well, this is Thursday now. This yes. is showing. So I had my appointment Monday. Okay. On which I will find out you what. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love that because we're filming this on a Sunday. Yeah, this is Sunday. Yeah. So I have my appointment tomorrow morning, Monday, to find out if the surgeon, he says my MCL wasn't fully torn. It was okay. still partially hanging on. And he says that area gets a lot of blood flow. So mm. he wanted to see, let it heal for a few weeks, see if it can heal on its oh. own to avoid having to operate on that. So I'm going in tomorrow. Hopefully I'll okay. get the news like, hey, it's healing on its own and we're gonna ready for surgery, so. Is there anything, so I know there's like a lot of advances in medicine and surgery and things like that now. Are there any options as far as like maybe PRP injections or stem cells or anything with the meniscus that, or MCL? You said that isn't all the way torn? Uh, the MCL is not. And he says that MCLs um, tend to heal themselves really well because okay. they get really good blood flow. So it's not even necessary to... Mm, maybe not necessary. It's not as likely. That's why my leg is locked in a straight position mm -hmm. until he tells me to because okay. the MCL is on the inside of your knee. And uh, so it's my right leg. So it's yeah. on the inside of my knee. And um, he says, if I bend my leg and the MCL is growing back, It'll, it's going to grow back loose. It's going to be like this oh, cord right here. Like, oh, okay. He wants it to be like super tight. Right. Like that. So it's that's so why interesting. if your leg is straight, it grow. It, you know, hope that's the best chance yeah. to grow back tight. So hopefully I haven't bent it at all since wow. the day. It ha it's been you, three you weeks sleep today. sleep with that thing on too? I sleep with okay. it, shower with shower it, Shower with it. Yeah, I put yeah. a bag over my oh, leg wow. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, but... It is what it is. Sure, I'm yeah. grateful, you know, thankful it didn't happen 10 years ago. I'm thankful sure. I didn't crack yeah. my head open. I'm right. thankful yeah, for sure. that 
it actually happened on the day the primitive video came out so i got oh. some footage out there yeah nice. so there that's go. cool i got some to talk about footage that. out I'm, there i'm a little mad at you but go ahead go ahead we'll talk yeah 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 um we'll so lie to me. i don't know where i'm going with it so <laughs> go ahead <laughs> yeah i have my appointment tomorrow morning and um also um hopefully by now since this is thursday sure um i have i'm doing a little like uh, bi-weekly or monthly YouTube videos just oh, to cool. like show my road to recovery. So oh, I should have idea. one. Go check my YouTube page if you're if you're, this interests you at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it should be up by now. Okay, your um, own personal Paul Rodriguez YouTube. Yeah, I think it's P Rod Vids. P Rod mm -hmm. Vids. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so we'll I'm, put the link I'm, I'm the doing just yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just doing the road to recovery little okay, that'd videos. Be cool. and yeah. Whatnot. Dude, that's Going that's so journey. cool dude yeah. i think I, kelly I, I, loves that kelly loves showing people your uh, your recovery and all that stuff yeah, and, yeah. dude because mm -hmm. people people can relate to it because a lot of skateboarders go through, go through that and yeah. they don't have no yeah. one to talk to really about yeah it. i was a little iffy about doing it in the first place but um you know people talk me into it like because mm -hmm. i'm like dude it's a fucking neat thing how many skaters do we know we've all blown out and like a lot of people a lot of, of skaters yeah. Yeah. yeah so i'm like what is this like what what makes it so different you know like it's just but you we, know, like, we all get injured, you know, so that is a that's a valid point. But at the same time, like how many people are afraid they'll never come back from it? Yeah. So I think putting right. like documenting yeah. your story yeah. and showing that, yeah. you know, you can come Lord back. willing, it is yeah. possible to come yeah. back from it. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, like I said offline earlier, like this is your first major injury in yeah. your career. Mm -hmm. yeah. So people kind of, you know, yeah. they, they want to be a part of it. And, well, if anyone yeah. cares, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and if you want to see the updates, uh, keep keep checking my YouTube Rad. channel. I'm gonna keep uh, nice. do a little edits, show the the progress. Right now, we're in the pre-surgery phase. Yes. I've been doing prehab every day, Monday through so, Friday. So they day. have to. You got to work out to build your muscles up before they go into surgery. You don't have to. I just so. I choose to. Like, I know, like you know, usually in skate. I think skateboarding actually now at this point is mm -hmm. like is actually open-minded to this but i've been working out three four times a week for a decade oh and, have you yeah personal oh. trainer forever i just never really say anything because yeah. it's always like oh dude just skate right. like yeah. <laughs> just skate to work out bro but it's like i get it but at the same time like i really love to ride my skateboard and i sure. i don't work out to fucking become the incredible hulk i just work out maintain. to yeah to maintain the abuse that skateboarding mm -hmm. Give. so I, i've always been a gym rat for a okay. long time now wow. so I, I went into this injury because i always you know he would always tell me if you do ever get injured like you know already being in shape beforehand is a plus it yeah. helps with the healing totally. so, yeah. so it's already been a part of my lifestyle so that's why like the first day after it happened first thing you i could wouldn't. think of to keep my sanity was just mm. yep. give me a workout anything upper body just like i just need to do something i'm not about to sit at home for six eight nine stops. months whatever it is yeah, yeah. and fucking Get all fat and shit. Right. So that's what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Kelly, come yeah. on, man. Uh, but you know, you once out. you start skating again, you know, it all co like yeah. it comes yeah. back. Yeah, you'll be fine though. So, but yeah, I've been I've been every day, <laughs> Monday through Friday, little prehab, okay, still good, doing good. workouts and just keeping the muscles from atrophying. It's weird watching your legs shrink. It's How long ago did you do it? it? Today is three weeks exactly. Okay, so three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You're already noting, noticing a difference in your leg shrinking after three weeks? Yeah, actually what I found out is without movement, the body starts to atrophy after three days, 72 hours. Yeah. No wonder I'm so skinny. I don't move <laughs> on my couch. I need to just go start doing Mu shit. Muscle, muscle will atrophy after three days without wow. use. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so, three yeah. days. But And also because I can't bend my leg right now, I can only yeah. do like certain like... Um, like with the rubber bands, like the the ankle oh, okay. uh, and the calves, and mm -hmm. then like I do certain like leg lifts and right. like side lifts and stuff like that, and okay. a lot of icing. But then I still work out every other part because my plan is when this knee finally gets okay to start skating yeah. again, the rest of my body's be good. ready to go. Right, it's like it never never skip a beat, mm -hmm. and then this thing just has to get strong. Catch strong back up. Yeah. yeah, catch back up. All, all I gotta say is when you start skating again, don't. It's important for you to have your like your your mentality going to it, like you have to relearn everything again and don't be like oh i'm i i used to be able to do this because you're going to come back skating again and you're not going to if you start doing tricks you it doesn't work you get frustrated really yeah. quick yeah and i okay. think that's kind of important because i've done this is my fourth time coming off an injury or something like that the first time doing it you you get bummed mm -hmm. you yeah. go back to the skate park or your or wherever spot you think you're just going to skate something chilling you gotta relearn all over again. So I tell you what, I'm really nervous about, and 
I'll say this only amongst us friends. Okay. And a uh, couple uh, people listening. Well, There's a couple, two, I, people, two, yeah. people, two people listen to this. No, I, I get a little, uh, it's a vulnerable thing because, yeah. um, you know, the doc says like probably about nine months till I'm skating again. Okay. But like, I'm 33 years old. I got other things in my life. Mm-hmm. So I have, I have a lot of stuff to put my attention to. Right. But what's scaring the shit out of me is like, what if after nine months I've gotten in this whole other groove of this whole other life oh. that I don't, that I like don't care about getting Skating. good again? Sure. That's what scares me is like, what if I'm like, I, life goes on in this direction and all of a sudden I'm okay to skate again and I'm just like, well, I'm doing this other, I'm eh. doing this over here. Yeah. Yeah. That That's weird for me to even. Right. What's, the real, might, what's the real fear in that? You think? Well, that's all I know. I mean, I understand. You know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. are you are you acting in stuff? So right. Acting and stuff well, now? yeah, I'm going to acting class. Like I can't even go on auditions until I can walk or anything. Right. You know yeah. I mean? But yeah, I'm st- I'm stoked. I have a lot of I go, I, can, I can step my days up that I go to. Act. I always have gone mm-hmm. for the past almost two years now, uh, multiple times a week. But now I can really step my days and spend more time doing mm-hmm. that, which is awesome outlet to put put it into. Uh, my teacher actually gave me because I, I, we do like scene study. We, they give you a partner and you do a scene in front of the class. Okay. My teacher gave me a, this movie Rear Window, which is an Albert Hitchcock movie from the nineteen fifty three. Oh, yeah. But it's about this photographer who's like goes out into war and captures war scenes, and uh, you know he actually broke his leg in the movie. So like it's like about a guy who broke his leg. So oh, so you my can teacher actually that. hooked me up. Okay. Right. <laughs> with yeah. the broken leg scene, they're like, "You're doing this really well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're doing it really method. well." Yeah. No, but, yeah, I got that, and I, okay. I've been spending a lot more time at the primitive office, spending more That's time good. with the with that with the team riders and stuff like that, which is all really fulfilling stuff. But then I just get worried, like, what about what happens if like I get so deep into do, doing sure. these other things that like mm-hmm. when I'm all good again, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a real thing you're talking about, yeah. you know. It's it is valid fear, like for sure. I mean, look at the nine club. Like, it takes up a lot of our fucking time. Not like I don't want to go skate, but it's harder to go skate. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I'm so involved with this now. You know, but yeah, it's like, the whole thing. You get some momentum going in another direction, sure. Right, and then it's just hard to like. But dude, you you've been skateboarding for so long. Right. You love it. You love skateboarding. I love it. I love it, it. won't go away, dude. Yeah. it yeah. just won't. It's just it's just weird. And, and that, these are just like weird things, and I like to speak about it so that you can get that energy, so that out I get it out of me, yeah. and yeah. like you know, and because like every part of me right now at this point intends to come back and be like the dude I always was, you know. But you know, so it's just because it's a weird point of your career. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if you're if I if it was ten years ago, I was twenty three, no question about it. That's sure. That's all you got yeah. going on. That's Absolutely. all you got. But at this point, I'm like, man, by the time I skate, I'm gonna be thirty four. <laughs> Um, but dude, no. The, and like, and then at that point, like, obviously, I'm still gonna, I can still skate, but like, uh, y- you just wonder, like, well, like, you know, you're, you're missing a whole year of like a, a valuable year. Sure. Every year that goes by right now is like, uh, dude, you got to take advantage well, of. They're it. They're watching you. They're gonna watch you on your videos, though. They're gonna watch the recovery. You're holding yourself yeah, accountable yeah, yeah. Like, by like, doing this. Like, right like to you're recovery. gonna do yeah. that, and That's people are gonna thing, see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, and they're gonna be stoked on that, and you're gonna see progress yourself. Yeah. No, I, th- that part I have the, the being in the gym and doing the re- that part. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. doubt about yeah. my. Yeah. That's part of my life before this injury. That's right. just part of my lifestyle. Like. Without a doubt, that's not even the issue at all to yeah. me. It's just about like what I do when I'm out of there, where I put my mind. Mm-hmm. Like since you I'm can't a, skate uh-huh. and you have such a, I don't want to say it's like an addictive personality, I was just but about you're to say like obsessive. obsessive. He's not gonna go sit on yeah. the couch. I'm obsessed. Right. Yeah. I, can't, I I have to feel like I'm progressing right. in, in every direction possible. Well, you can go to the Lakers games with uh, LeBron. Yes. LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you, you could occupy yourself with. Yeah. Take me with you. Come yes. on, Paul. Let's go to a couple Laker games. That's what I'm you talking know? about, man. I'm so, I'm stoked. But I, what I'm real nervous about is like, I hope they're bringing some they other to. people to. They have to. Him. And uh, I know he wouldn't make that move. No. Yeah. Without with, that, there's yes. definitely some stipulations. There's some, that there's say some you stuff. Build a squad around. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. not like, oh, me and Lonzo, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be some shit. Yeah. At yeah. this no. point, he's not making money based decisions. He's right. making like championship based decisions. Yeah. yeah. When well, you got a billion dollar contract, a um, billion dollar Nike, lifetime contract with Nike, money is the right. least he's, of your worries. I mean, worries, it's good. Still, 154. What is 154 million for four years? Well, but I don't know. You know, Actually, I wanted to touch on go ahead, outside please. of the no, no, go ahead, go ahead. because I don't know. I haven't spoken to you about this, but how were you planning on doing anything for the Olympics, twenty twenty? No, no. Okay, no. so that this doesn't affect no, any it of doesn't, your. And that's what another part of the time, like I stopped skating street league. Mm-hmm. Um, 
two seasons ago. Mm -hmm. So like this is like prime street league season. If this happened, oh, yeah. right, right. and I was like really, I would be, I'd be really bummed. I'd be yeah. really bummed. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I'm I'm bummed and not bummed. It's a right. weird kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, I'd been like, fuck, like it, it would have thrown my head for a little. But now at at this point. I don't want to be that dude just showing up at the Olympics just for the sake of showing up, <laughs> yeah, just, just to be like, yo, I yeah. used to be that dude, like, right, uh, right. Yeah, like, yeah. dude, I, I'm well aware, but, you know, I had my, I had my times, I had my moments, I, I done well, I leave on a high note, thank you for the love, and get the fuck out of there. Cause <laughs> hey, dude, you'd I'm, be a great coach. You'd be the, you should be like the U.S. coach. That'd now, what naughty. am I going to tell these kids? Yeah, yeah, go crook a grind. Niger, the go, go do that. <laughs> but that's, that thing you did. Right. Do that. But that's what's going to happen almost, dude. You know what I mean? Like, that's for sure what's going <laughs> to happen. Technically, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. going to have coaches. They're going to have someone to talk oh to. Oh, my God. I'm going to laugh. Whoever they choose to be the coach... It's you. gonna be like it's gonna be scuba. No, no, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna Mike be a, you know what it is. <laughs> it's gonna be like the Queen of England, where it's like you have this title but no real power. Sure, sure. like what the Damn. fuck are you gonna tell yeah. Nigel? Ni Nigel, yeah. what are you gonna tell him? Like uh, Nigel, here's what I'm thinking for your run. <laughs> yeah. like, this motherfucker doesn't know how to put together his own runs. I know, right? <laughs> how to do his own shit. No, but he has, he has someone to talk to. Like he probably already has. He doesn't him. give a fuck. He don't probably. need nobody to talk to. You ever been at you? You go to the street. You're the <laughs> you judge. judge him. <laughs> He is with the headphones on. He don't need to talk to nobody. Yeah. Yeah. All he's Calculated, doing there is like, staring, and he's just ready for someone to say, Nigel, go in and action. fuck everybody up. Yeah. 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 And that's all he's... That's he's just true. waiting for this. Go time. Go. Go pull out of the pen. Okay, cool. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to coach this guy? Yeah, you're right. I don't know. <laughs> I like your attitude, though, for tonight, Paul. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I've been working on my attitude. <laughs> well, listen, dude. You know, uh, you're you're gonna heal up fine. You're gonna get back on the board. Everything's no gonna be good. It. Just a little yeah. time, you know, a little time. That's, yeah, that's hard. Time and work, because yeah. you got to work for it. No, you know? that, the so, work is not work. No, that's, yeah, that's not keeps problem. me sane. Sure, totally. Yeah, that keeps yeah. me yeah. sane.